Do you remember where you found Jesus? Not when you found him, but where? Do you remember where you were? Or better yet, where you were in life? Think about that for a moment. Or maybe you, you haven't found him yet. You're still looking for Jesus. This, this is for you too. In Matthew 2, the story of Jesus being born on earth, we see three wise men, three magi, sages, if you will, trying to find Jesus. It's a common part of the Advent story. Three wise men show up with gifts for the baby king. But it's this unique part of the story where we get a glimpse of people who were actually trying to find Jesus, the first people looking for Jesus. The story goes like this. The Magi came from the east. They came looking for the one born king of the Jews because they had seen an abnormal star rise in the sky. They were watchers and studiers. Is, is that a word? They, they studied the sky. We don't know what happens exactly, but they follow the star. Maybe the star disappears for a time uh, or they just got so close that they thought they knew what they were looking for. But do you notice where they went to look for Jesus first? They ended up in Jerusalem. And it was only after consulting with the scribes and religious leaders that they were directed to Bethlehem per the prophecies. Isn't that interesting? They went to a big city first, the obvious place, the place of prominence. If, if a king was coming, of course he'd be in the city. Of course he'd be in the places of power. But the place that the king ended up was a small rural town of Bethlehem in a barn with no pomp and circumstance. The king that would change the world forever was in a humble place with lowly people, surrounded by cast out people that couldn't even get into an inn. Have you thought about who might be looking for Jesus today or where they might be looking for him? Okay, if you can follow my logic here, I want you to think about where others look for Jesus because there are a lot of people who are looking for Jesus, but maybe they're like the Magi and they're looking, but they're not finding. Maybe they're looking in the wrong places because of their misunderstandings of the kind of king Jesus is. I hope you've found Jesus. And if you have and you know Jesus, you are also an ambassador for Jesus. Those of us that know Jesus, we've been given this amazing assignment to bring Jesus to others, especially those who are looking for him. Listen to this. I believe that Jesus wants to show up in the middle of people's tough situations, not the big, glamorous, easy, pride of life situations, but the lowly, tough, destitute, cast out, Bethlehem situations. See, the Jesus that people need to meet is actually the one who wants to meet us in the hopeless and the tough situations. So the next time you're in a conversation with someone about Jesus, think about what kind of Bethlehem situation they might be in. An easy spot for encouragement can be simply to remind them that Jesus wasn't born to pomp and circumstances, at least, at least not earthly pomp and circumstances anyway. He was born in a little town of Bethlehem surrounded by lowly people without any earthly recognition. And that Jesus wants to meet people there. Hey, thank you for engaging with this episode of Anchored. Are you part of Bethel Church and interested in being a host for this podcast? We know that God speaks to each one of us. We want to faithfully grow the people who contribute and share their insights through this podcast. If you are interested in learning more about this opportunity, please email video at Bethel.ch.